So the superstore doesn't open for another half hour. There's already a huge queue. Okay, so for those of you who are coming to the WWE World, because it's a new thing, we got here about 35 minutes before the doors opened from one long queue, it's all for the same queue whether you go into the Superstore or the World. World doesn't open for another hour, when they opened the doors at 11, half the queue went to like the Superstore if they were just doing that, then everyone else came into this gigantic random room and we're queuing up to pick up our general admission wristbands. Apparently once you get that, you can then go to the Superstore or then you can walk over and do the um, experience once it opens. But we shall see. It's the first time they've ever done this, so everything is a bit confusing, but we'll see what happens. So it looks like you queue up your general admission ticket, you do have VIP tickets, then you then get your general admission ticket and then queue up for your VIP ticket. This is the I was there t-shirt for this year. And then this is the other I was there t-shirt. This is the one we picked up. Bobby Lashley. So we had about 25 minutes to for him to arrive. Then after that, 
uh, I think it's probably about a 45 minute wait in total to meet Bobby Lashley so we both have our autograph from him. Now we are queuing up for the mist. Not sure when he arrives but we shall see. But also they have like a main stage. AJ Styles is doing some like uh, interview thing and now we've got Kovo so that's why everyone is running towards the stage now. Come on now, 20 minutes. show up. Wait a second. Let The Rock understand. Are you booing because The Rock was supposed to be here at 4 o'clock? Is that why you were booing? You're booing because The Rock was a little late. Is that why you were booing? Was late? He was watching YouTube. Watching Jalen Hurts lose in the playoffs again. You boo because it's the truth. Now, the rock has shown up. You've got greatness in front of you. You stand there, shut your mouth, and enjoy the ride that the rock has taken you on. It's cooking.
strategic I'm stage. coaching me, yo. But as we said before, we have this button for a reason. Right, we are done with WWE World and Superstore. The world was interesting. I'll give you like a recap of everything when we were back in the hotel. Um, but yeah, it was a busy day. We literally lined up to get in there at like, what was it, 10.30 we were queuing up for. It's now 8.25 and we are walking back to the hotel. Fortunately, we're staying in the hotel that's really near the convention center, um, but yeah. I will catch up with all the world stuff when we get back to the hotel. Hi guys, so we are back home. It has been a long, long day. So, WWE World Universe. Let me give you the rundown because it's like the first time they've ever done this and there's lots and lots to know. Right, I've gone into the bathroom, relocated um, because the lighting is better in here. It's really dark in the uh, actual bedroom. So, WWE World universe and superstore so you go to the convention center there is one long line in the morning we queued up from 10 30. the superstore opened at 11 the universe opened at 12. this is slightly different on the different days but because this was the first day those are the timings for today but there's a few things to bear in mind so the first thing is if you have got tickets for the world 
my recommendation is to go straight into the world section and line up for the general admission ticket pickup. They will give you like a wristband. You put it on and what we did today is we queued up and then we went straight to the superstore because we wanted to get all the stuff before it sold out. Um, the superstore itself, huge. It does have a lot of like, I was here, it has two main I was here t-shirts, but it has lots of other Philadelphia shirts. For us, we always like to try and get to the superstore early because we want to get our sizes. And to be honest, the main ones like the I was there tops seem to only kind of have small, medium and large left by the time we went there this afternoon, like in the evening. Um, but everything else they are replenishing often. Um, one of the things that Callum really wanted was like this pin collection of all of the different WrestleManias. And he also wanted the mini replica WrestleMania belt. And we had seen them online, they had sold out online and we were said, like it said online, there's gonna be like a limited edition, like a limited amount in the store. So when we first went, we picked up the pin board and then we didn't ask about the belts because it was like crowded. At the end of the day, when we went back there, we asked about the belts, they still had some. So do not panic. They seem to be like putting more and more stuff out every day. Um, so Superstore, the only thing really to get is when you walk in, just pick up the t-shirts in the size that you want whilst they're there um, because they are popular. A lot of the WrestleMania Philadelphia ones are very popular, they go quickly. So the WWE world is slightly different to the Superstore. So the Superstore, anyone can go into. Um, yes, my legs are tired, so I'm gonna record from here. Um, but the Universal world, you have to pay for a general admission. So it is $60 you can pay in advance there was a queue where you could pay on the day they also have an evening ticket which i think is slightly less um but you can also pay for the whole five days we have just paid for today and sunday because we paid for the vip to meet cm punk so yeah the wwe universe world there's a few different things to know about before you go so the first thing is there are lots of different areas for you to take photographs so there are like made up ECW staging, you've got Bray Wyatt set, you have got um, like a ring that's set up, this 360 camera um, opportunity where you can hold one of the belts and they'll make a 360 video which is really fun, I'll put mine in here now. There's also one where you can like, do like a WWE superstar entrance and choose whose music you want to do that to. That seemed to be really popular with the children. Um, and yes, yeah, so there's lots of different activities to do. They also have superstar, like superstar autographs and superstar photographs. So the photographs is, is as you walk in, is in the back corner on the right hand side, but they do not tell you who and when is coming out or what times. So you just kind of snake, you queue up and there's like a snaky queue that you line up in. And then whoever is there when you get there is who you're taking a photograph with. Um, then you also have autograph stages. Now today it was a bit of a shambles because they have like three stages. One's like a Funko Pop one. I don't know if that's every day, but they had a Funko Pop staging today. One I think was an Xfinity one. And I'm not sure what the other one was, but there was like three different ones. And they didn't tell you what the order of like the people coming out of those were. So we just queued up for one, ended up meeting Bobby Lashley. There are people with signs that say like, if you join beyond this queue, like this point, you might not be able to get your autograph um, because they're only there for about an hour. So we managed to see Bobby Lashley get his autograph. They're only doing autographs. You can try and take pictures of them signing, but you can't like pose for pictures. Then we queued up for like 45, 50 minutes for The Miz. And just as we were near the front, he ends up closing, which was really annoying because we had already gone past the guy with the sign um, saying that there's no more people beyond this point type thing. So it was really annoying. We'd waited for like ages for The Miz. Um, but he did sign like a load of just random papers and gave them out. Like So we did manage to get an autograph and like see him up close. Um, and then they have a main stage as well where they'll have different events throughout the day. I think today was Rey Mysterio, AJ Styles and Cody Rhodes. And then The Rock was meant to be there at four o'clock. The Rock showed up at like 20 to six. It was a long wait for him, which I wasn't impressed about. And because of that, it meant that we missed out on meeting Gunther. 
Um, we tried to queue up at the end of the rock segment thing to go and meet Gumbler, but he was just, he was, we were like there for 10 minutes, then he was packing up and going. So didn't get to meet him, but we did manage to see him, we didn't get to meet him, which is a shame. Um, so my advice is, and I will say, by the time we were queuing up for the Miz, they had put on some of the stages the times of whether people were there. So download the WWE Universe app. Um, I think it's called the WWE World app. And keep refreshing it whilst you're there and it will show like the times eventually, hopefully, depending on what day you're there. They did today, but again, it was late. So, yeah, it was good. Glad we went. My The best part was because we had to wait so long for The Rock and then we were waiting for Gunther, by the time six o'clock rolled out, loads of people were leaving and the experience stays open until eight. So we then spent the next two hours taking advantage of like the quieter crowds and doing all of those smaller like um, stagings and stuff like that. So my recommendation is if you can go slightly later on and do all of the things when it, before it closes like at eight o'clock because it was much quieter after the rock was meant to had to been and gone. So yeah, it was a good day. Would I do it again? Probably. Sunday we're going and meeting CM Punk to pay for the VIP. I probably won't need to like do the rest of the stuff though, because we've already done it. Um, will I do it next year? I shall see. Um, it is good fun. I think it was slightly chaotic because it's the first time they've done it. And I think they need to make it clearer when, like if you are beyond this point, you will not get to meet your, like the superstar or whatever. And they need to have put those times up in advance too. But generally speaking, it was fun. I enjoyed it. I'm knackered. We got there for half 10, it opened at 11. It is now quarter past nine and I'm waiting for my food delivery. So it was a long day. Also, they didn't have much food there. I think they had a chicken um, place, chicken dippers, I think it was called, and then a place that just had pretzels and $6 bottles of Coke, which was fun. So yeah, it's not the, also that's another thing bag drop you can own it's like a stadium you can only have see-through bags or small clutch bags there was a huge like um bag check area for people who have big bags with them you can't bring them so don't bring them but yeah i think that's everything it was a good time and uh yeah i hope those tips are helpful if you have any questions let me know in the comments below and i will try and answer them as much as i can and thanks for watching bye guys